Joe from Level Up Your Gym hanging out in one of our offices. And here's my tip for today. When you move from that trainer role to more of the owner role, the overseer of everything, still got to get your ass out of the office. I call it go spotting people. During a session, I'm not going to coach anybody so they're not looking to me for expert advice. I'm simply building them up, giving them some positive chitter chatter. I like to bust some chops, do my circle, spot anyone that needs it, let the trainer be the hero of the session, and then I drift back into the office. You need to keep those relationships for a lot of reasons. Number one, the members are going to look to you to bridge that gap between training with you and training with somebody else. You need to know your staff, they're supported, but you're not stepping on their toes and jumping in unless it's a safety issue. But you also need to make sure you're knowing everyone that comes in. I've seen a lot of people jump out of their business as soon as they get their first trainer, and it works great for about six months, and that trainer leaves and goes somewhere else. And all those new members only knew that trainer. Even if you're the owner of the company, you didn't spend the time to walk the floor, shake the hands, and get to know the people that you are depending on. Make sure you like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I will make sure to post some more valuable content for you. And we have a lot of professionally done free videos for you at levelupyourgym.com as we work through this process to find 10 gym owners that we're going to mentor. I'm going to mentor personally along the same journey that I went on to grow this from a garage gym up to where we're at now, up building facilities and opening new places and working with and doing thousands of sessions for members.